Well, here I am about half an hour after France eliminated Peru and therefore the team that I rooted for most, mostly because of family, but also there's a lot of things to like, I'll talk about them in a second. Yeah, lost to France and I uh, cannot go on anymore. Yeah, I am a little bit sad, but it's on the other side, I'm a little bit used to that. All the teams that I really root for usually make an early exit lately. Uh, <laughs> guess my family is not from countries with a high soccer pay degree. But uh, on the other side, that makes it all the nice thing about that is that I'm a little bit more neutral probably on certain things. Although, yeah, I have my clear favorites, as you might know by now. Well, did France deserve to win? I would say yes. Uh, you could see that they were the better team overall and maybe if they would have turned it on they could have scored another one. Peru had their chances and I give highest credit that unlike other outsiders they did not defend, defend, defend. No, they actually tried to take the game to France and that's uh, I, very commendable. I am very happy about this approach to uh, playing even as an outsider and that's why I'm gonna miss Peru, also gonna miss Peru because their shirts are just unique and special in the uh, soccer world, at least in the international soccer world. There are of course club teams that have that, River Plate first and foremost. Uh, if you go to my blog um, on my Peru jersey posts you will see the history behind the Peru jersey, it actually is really coming from River Plate and I think I've also written there where River Plate got it from. But back to the game, yeah, um, France had their chances, France looked overall in control but Peru was uh, playing well but they always the last pass is the one thing that they couldn't get to where they wanted to. They really are not, uh, how do I say, they don't have a killer instinct and that's their undoing. Uh, they play nice, it's very decent to watch, maybe better against Denmark than it was today because France, as I said, was uh, very aggressively attacking the uh, player, having the ball, so therefore uh, they disrupted the Peru game early and they got their chances, uh, although the goal was maybe a little bit lucky, but again, um, it became, it, uh, the chance came uh, due to a high pressing of France and then um, a quick succession of passes, one deflection uh, that uh, made Mbappé not being in offside and there you go. There you have the one nothing, which was an easy goal to score for him. Uh, second half, I really think France just wanted to kill off the game. They had their chances early on, they let Peru come, they saw Peru is not super dangerous. Peru had, I think, one free kick, maybe one, one hit the bar, I think there was one shot to the bar that I didn't see because I needed to be on the balcony for just two minutes so I yeah. missed the exciting thing in the uh, in the second half happens so yeah that was more or less the game I was really hoping for a miracle on the Peru side that something might happen uh, that they get the equalizer and not be eliminated in the last game I still would have liked the chances I think it was within their reach but again with no killer instinct you cannot get there France looked improved and I expected them to be because um, they played it was a much more open game Australia was defending a lot this is not France's game I think uh, today was much more uh, in their favor and yeah they got their win they qualify for the next next round um, I guess they want to see tonight how it's happening, whether they want to play fully against Denmark or not. I'm not sure France would want to play Argentina, so if they could avoid playing Argentina, that would be a bonus, I guess, for them. But maybe I'm interpreting too much. I just, yeah, I think France are still looking how to preserve energy for the latter stages. So in that sense, and given their talent, they might be a dangerous team and we might need to watch out for them. The group still with Denmark and uh, Australia are playing for the second qualifying spot uh, but it's not a direct duel so yeah it will be interesting. I think Denmark has all the, all the chances especially if France decides to not play full. 
And now the big game in the evening is about to come. Um, two more things before I end this video. First of all, shout out to the Peruvian fans and most South American fans. It's amazing in uh, what big masses they are there. I, in both games, this was a, a home game for Peru. Uh, if not for the weather conditions, they were not very Peruvian, but the support, amazing. And I have to say the same was true for Colombia. Uh, those two fan groups impressed me the most. Um, probably Mexico and Argentina were also there in big in droves. So uh, I'm really amazed at that it makes actually a wonderful at, at atmosphere. Um, I don't. I almost was going so far as, uh, as saying that the Peru fans are the best in the world because they really swarmed on there, but they didn't make. They were fair in a way. At least that's what the impression I had. Uh, we saw the controversy uh, with the Mexican fans, which I find a little bit hypocritically, but yeah. And the other thing, Jersey matchup. Yay! We got a nice matchup. Uh, Frost in all blue with Red Sox. See, they have Red Sox. And Peru in the classic kit. I was afraid that the Red Sash will clash with the Red Sox and we have an all blue France or something like that. But yeah, no. We got a nice matchup. Would have been nice if France could have worn maybe white shorts, but I understand white shorts and white shorts that doesn't work very, very well. So I think I was very pleased with that one. Um, I still like the France, the new France shirt, um, but it needs to some getting used to, um, especially if the white is mis mi missing the navy blue and the light blue shoulders. Uh, it looks a little strange. It looks better if they're really playing in the tricolor. Yeah, so let's see. I'm <laughs> I'm curious about the jersey matchup tonight between Argentina and Croatia. I expect Argentina in their home jerseys, Croatia in their incredibly ugly away jerseys. But then we also have FIFA. I can see Argentina playing black again and uh, Croatia playing in the checkerboard. It's about to be seen. Well. I'll give you an update later on that and let me know what you thought about France and Peru and Jersey match or whatever and I will talk to you soon. Enjoyed this video? Please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.